Good morning. Today is my seventh day on trail since the Catskills and my third day on the Appalachian Trail. And this morning I'm waiting out the last of this rainstorm that was going on pretty much all night. And then I'm gonna try to get in 21.5 miles today to the Wildcat Shelter. So around 13 miles into the day, I'm gonna be passing the New York, New Jersey border, which I've only seen once before on the Appalachian Trail. And also around four miles in, there's the Heaven Hill farm stand pretty close to the trail, and I'm gonna get an apple cider donut and coffee, which I'm looking forward to. Packed up camp in the last of the drizzle, and I'm back on trail. Got my donut and my coffee, and I am a happy hiker. Sun's coming out for the first time in the days, and I am thrilled. Pretty sure that somewhere in that steep uphill section I just did, my glove fell out of my pocket when I pulled my phone out. So now I'm going back down the hill a little bit to try to find it. And if I dropped it in like one of the first sections, I'm definitely not going all the way back to the bottom, but hopefully I find it. So I just passed a nice lady and she told me that she saw the glove and it's at the very bottom of the hill. And I'm going down for that glove because now I know where it is. And I'm gonna have to climb back up this thousand feet. So I found the glove. Once I got like halfway down, I decided I was not going back up that hill without my glove. And guess where it was? At the bottom. So I did a nice bonus thousand feet somewhat running, somewhat speed hiking, and now I'm back on trail. The sun's coming out to brighten my mood after that damper. walking through the state of New Jersey. I'm now re-entering good old New York for a day and a half. Here's the view I got right here. Coming up to the summit of something that I forgot what it's looking like because of a little setback from the glove incident I definitely would not get to the shelter by dark and I was gonna do a shorter day tomorrow anyway so I totally wouldn't mind adding two extra miles on my last day so I'm gonna stay at this stealth spot that a few people recommended on gut hook that's two miles before the shelter
first light of sunrise peeking over the horizon over there. Good morning. Today is my eighth day on trail and my fourth day on the Appalachian Trail. And I'm walking on this ridge line with the sunrise over there behind me. Yesterday, I was feeling really tired from running up that hill after the glove incident. So I only ended up doing 16.5 miles, but it was really more like 18.5 from the glove incident. So now until my pickup spot later today, I have, or now I have more like 20 miles, but it'll be 20.8 total for today. And today's my last day on trail for now. So this road right here, East Mombasha Road, is where my AT journey first began. It was here that I started my first AT section hike with my older brother. Must have been like five or six years ago. And we did 21 miles from here north to Bear Mountain. And little did I know it would spark a lifetime of obsession with long distance backpacking. Look at all those fools stuck in the traffic jam down there. But I'm walking faster than they're driving. So I'm now crawling my way through the famous lemon squeezer. So this is where the trail actually goes, right through here. And then just after the lemon squeezer, got one more little scramble. Nope, not the easy way. So four days ago, me and Mike left the long path and now I'm intersecting it again. But I'm not hiking on it, I'm continuing on the AT for another two miles and then that's the end of my section.